When the House passed the measure, it moved on to the Senate, where members of the Jobs, Economic Development, and Local Government Committee heard public testimony on the bill. Having an incentive like this that encourages investment in Missouri, and in exchange we reduce the tax burden, is public policy that I do think will encourage job creation in our state. Manufacturing is important because it has, unlike other commercial activities, it has a more far-reaching effect. And because it's a big entity and it requires huge investment. The bill ultimately made it through the committee process and headed to the floor Mr. for debate. The Senator Luann Ridgway of Smithville handled the legislation in the Senate. Manufacturing is a business that is extremely important to the state of Missouri. I'm sure there will be many questions having to do with this bill. And there were. Senators debated the bill for an unprecedented 21 hours on the floor. Opponents and supporters went back and forth all night long, debating how the savings from House Bill 1, a measure aimed at reforming the state's retirement system for new employees, would help fund the Manufacturing Jobs Act. We're providing the kind of incentives that are going to encourage year after year more and more people to come to this legislature and to demand that we give them special preferential treatment under our laws. What happened to equal treatment? In eight years, I can think of no other time when we have had an opportunity to save the taxpayers of this state $660 million over a 10-year period, Senator. And when those opportunities present themselves, I don't know how we can say to the taxpayers, we will not take advantage of that on your behalf. I think it's uh, mean and cynical to buy into any kind of corporate extortion by devaluing the work and the future of the state's most precious resource, our employees. This bill is not, I repeat, is not a tax credit. It requires a massive investment of $75,000 per employee before anyone who might qualify under this bill could begin to get any kind of benefit from the state of Missouri. When all debate on the measure was exhausted, senators cast their final vote on the measure. By your vote of 20 aye, 7 no, the bill having received a constitution majority is declared passed. Hearing no objection, let the journal show the titling and perfecting motions were made and carried. Shortly after the General Assembly approved the measure, Senate President Pro Tem Charlie Shields, joined by Senator Ridgway, signed the measure, sending it to the governor's desk. Just one day later, the governor signed the bill, which becomes effective on October 12th. Reporting for the Missouri Senate, I'm Brad Bayshore. When we return, lawmakers consider another measure that brought them back to Jefferson City for a special session. That and more up next on Missouri Legislative Update. 